I'm sitting here playing NHL. I don't think my little dude is feeling good today. Dead. <laughs> there you are. I don't think he's feeling good. Okay, so you guys know that uh, I went to Texas just about like a month ago or so. And uh, you also know that the reason we were there is to get our house ready to sell. That'll be happening like the 28th or something like that. But um, for helping uh, move plus, um, you know, painting all of this and helping do uh, and get this entire house, this house ready to move into, my mom and dad said that they would each give like a $500 gift to my brother and me. So my brother is going to get tires for his truck, and then I've been debating whether or not to get a different camera. Um, the point and shoot, the Canon G7X Mark II, which is the camera that I'm pretty sure Roman Atwood uses. Um, or this I was just thinking about today, this thing. So it is basically, once my camera focuses, a 10 to 20 millimeter um, lens. So it'll be like super, super wide angle, like wider than this is now. And that's it right there. And it is about $300 less than um, any, or $300 less than um, the point and shoot. So I've been kind of debating back and forth between just using the same camera that I have now and getting a different, better lens than this, or just going for the, uh, the little point and shoot that Roman Atwood uses. So... Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I do eventually, I am eventually going to change lenses, lenses, lenses on this camera, but uh, I'm just debating whether or not to get the lens first instead of the uh, point and shoot. And if you don't know what point and shoot camera I'm talking about, I'm talking about this one right here. It's that little thing and it also has this, which would help a lot. But honestly, I kind of don't really need it. It's, I don't, I don't know, it's $680. I really, really don't need something that expensive. I honestly could just get the new lens uh, for this for $300 and be fine. Um, plus, it's like $180 more than what my parents said they would pay, so... I don't know. Tell me, tell me what you think. I really don't need the little, um like extra screen that's right there, but also that would be pretty cool because I've I've always wanted a, uh, a 10 millimeter lens, which like this, this lens is an 18 to 200 millimeter, so it can zoom in, as you can see, super, super far. Um, but the 10 to 20 millimeter, the 20 would be like, the 20 would be like that far instead of like the 18 there's a really mini difference but 20 18 20 18 and uh, the 10 would be like this you're on 18 right now and the 20 would be super super wide angle so just let me know what you guys think I gotta go put my dog outside okay so I'm sitting here thinking about some stuff and the thing is the lens I'm using now um, is like 200 grams more than the lens I'm thinking about getting and so that's really not a big difference um, it's like this this lens right now is like a 1.2 pound um, or it's like 1.2 pounds and then the other one is like 0.5 so I mean there's really not a huge difference between how much weight there is and really holding it up for a long amount of time is going to be the same for each of them. It's going to be a very, very small difference. Um, so I'm kind of now pushing towards the point and shoot side, uh, the Roman Atwood point and shoot camera. Um, I'm still not sure yet. I would really love to have um, the 10 to 20 for this camera. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, it's kind of a big decision. Okay, so after doing a ton of research, a bunch of, or uh, watching a bunch of different YouTube videos and all of that stuff, I found the holy grail, and that is the Sony A5100 mirrorless digital camera. It's right there. It is literally everything I need. Um, it's a 16 millimeter, it has a 16 millimeter lens, 
which is a little bit wider than this one, um, to 50, which is about um, that. So it'll zoom from there to a little bit less than there, um, which is perfect. And if you will see right here, um, it has a flip up screen, which is completely perfect. So that is what I'm going to go with. It is exactly $500, $498 actually with uh, Amazon Prime. So it'll actually be $498 with free shipping and all of that. Literally perfect. I'm so glad I found this. Um, I looked at a couple reviews for uh, the G7X, and honestly, I mean, part of the reason I need a better camera is for autofocus, and this one does not do a great job, as you can probably hear it, trying to autofocus. Um, and so, the people have said the G7X isn't, you know, top-notch for autofocus, and so I was like, yeah, maybe I should rethink my decision, and I came up to this one. Um, it's literally perfect. I cannot wait. And I'm sure you guys can't either. It's better quality, baby. Let's go. Alright guys, that will do it for today's vlog. Um, pretty much all of today I was researching cameras and uh, just trying to figure out what I really wanted to do. Um, it was, it was kind of just a research day. We didn't, we didn't also do much because it's been raining literally all day. It just now stopped. Like, the ground is starting to dry up, but... Um, it's, it's been a slow day, uh, but I am so excited to get this thing. Like, I cannot wait. It's going to be so amazing. And the quality will go so far up. It's going to be awesome. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It'll be greatly appreciated. And, uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Survivor.